Now we're going to actually add some really fun full body drills with the Smart Agility Ladder from the Prism Fitness Group. Most people think the Agility Ladder is only for fast footwork drills, but you can actually get your hands in those rungs as well. A few things to keep in mind when you're doing those drills, when you're maintaining that push up position and moving back and forth, make sure you hold a nice tight plank and not let your hips sag down so that you also get that full core activation. We're going to start with your lateral hand shuffle, which is just like your lateral two ends, except for now your hands are going one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two in the ladder as your feet also shuffle, maintaining that perfect plank as you move down and back on the ladder. Our next full body drill are your lateral push-ups with one hand in. So literally you have one hand in each rung of the ladder, you do a push-up, shuffle to the side, and do another push-up so you're moving laterally. You want to make sure you go in both directions and don't forget to brace the core and hold that plank. The next full body drill is a little more triceps emphasis. We're going to do your lateral push-ups with two hands in each rung. So it's a nice close grip push-up. Shuffle one, two for that two in, and then you do a push-up in the next rung. Once again, moving both directions, maintain that perfect tight push-up form. Probably our most advanced full body ladder drill are the lateral plyo push-ups. These are for your most advanced users. You're going to do your push-ups with one hand in each rung and literally hop over to the next rung. We want to make sure we go in both directions, keeping that full body nice and tight and braced as we move through those hops. We're now going to do lateral squat jumps with rotations. You want to maintain that perfect squat form, really dropping that bum back and low. Explode out of that ladder, rotate, land with your feet in the next two rungs facing that other direction. As always, you want to start slow, make sure you can master that rotation and then you can pick up the pace, but don't forget to maintain that perfect squat.